Diane Busatil. Um, I'm Australian. I've been living in Berlin for like 12 years. And I'm a professional dancer, choreographer and filmmaker. I was quite hyperactive as a child and I used to do acrobatics on the furniture in, in, the in the house I lived in. And there was one table made of glass and my family were worried that I was going to fall over and smash the glass and smash myself. So um, they sent me to dance school to get rid of all my energy and I've never stopped. When I decided I wanted to do it like professionally, so obviously I was a bit older, um, my father didn't like this idea at all. He didn't like this idea for a woman, you know. He wanted me to get a mortgage and get married and divorced like everybody else. But it didn't happen. <laughs> so what kind of dancer are you? Um, I guess I do contemporary dance and I work mostly in dance theatre. I guess I like improvising because you can draw on all of those different techniques that you've learned or, or not. Sometimes dance can be like a meditation, like, especially if you're doing it for a long time. And in the beginning you use the tools that you always know and feel comfortable with. And then when you run out of those tools, you're in this beautiful place where you only have honesty. Could you uh, teach me some of this amazing art? Sure, I can teach you. We can set up some tasks together and see what happens. We have to keep this distance, right? So if you move back, I have to move forward. Okay, go. I generate movement by beginning to listen to myself, so getting into a present, a state of being in the present, and then that kind of, I just listen, then there's a rhythm or something comes. We're very, very, very rarely in absolute stillness. And then there are all of these tools, like I can use different body parts to start, to start a movement, I can think of a person or Often I imagine things moving around, sometimes inside of me, and that makes my body travel. You're just moving through impulses and, and feelings and sensations and space, and you're more sort of sensitive to everything that's going on around you and you're responding physically. Movement is my first language because sometimes I feel like uh, I can't articulate myself so well in words or I don't find the right combination of words. For me it's easier to communicate through movement. To read dance, you need to just be open to what you're experiencing and find out your own references to what you're watching or what you're experiencing. <laughs>